hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy gym graphics all right actually i want to share with you guys some basic tips all right because i told you guys in my in my previous videos that i'll be bringing you guys tips and these tips is basically gonna help the young graphic designers like you can see the title i named it the truth you were never told yes some basic truths you were never told as a young graphic designer i'm a young graphic designer i'm still coming up so we are all coming up so i tell you guys from experience all right from experience that is what i'm telling you guys and um please i'm not gonna lie to you see this is life so take this serious the advice is coming from jim directly from me so please take this advice serious and please watch this video to the very end so that you don't miss out any information i'm passing out to you so the first one is guys you know you guys listen to a lot of um you know motivational speakers i'm not telling you not to listen to motivational speakers but um you guys have channels that motivate you on graphic design and tells you a lot of things on how to start up graphic design and how to take it as a career but i believe there are things they don't tell you and there are things you might not maybe you've heard it before and maybe you've not heard it but this is actually coming from me to you so maybe you were told that if you start up graphic design in one year in three months you become a millionaire i'm telling you i'm a nigerian so i'm advising you from um nigeria so if you're watching outside the country um this advice might be for you and it might not be for you because i'm i'm being plain and truth truthful to you guys because i passed through this this actually i passed through this when i was when i was where i was before mm, yes before i become a an upcoming all right so actually when I was starting up, I believe that I, I, nobody told me that um, if I'm starting up a graphic design job, like I'm, if, I'm, if I want to take it as a career, it's gonna help me build a house, it's gonna help me buy a car, it's gonna help me make six figures every year, every month, it's gonna, it's gonna boost my social life, it's gonna boost my, my bank account. Um, that's actually true, but if you're not doing it in the right way, you're gonna be a broke graphic designer. I'm not telling you to advise you. I'm not motivating you. I'm telling you from my experience, you're gonna be a broke graphic designer. Don't be a broke graphic designer, guys. All right, you might not be that super rich, but you have to live up to your standard. All right, and why am I saying this is? They might tell you about freelancing and i know you guys might have heard about freelancing right freelancing as a graphic designer freelancing simply means you are alone you are the brand of your own self like you are the brand of your own self a lot of designers are freelancing but there are truths you guys are not telling yourself let me tell you guys something it's not as if when you start freelancing as a graphic designer jobs will start pumping 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 your way anybody that tells you that is lying to you take that from me no 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 nobody who is doing freelancing as a graphic designer always gets like in a week you have six jobs to execute that will pay you like that what i mean that will pay you very well in a week you might get two jobs you might get one you might not even get at all that is what i'm trying to tell you if you want to start freelancing as a graphic designer if you want to be a brand on your own but the truth is a lot of you always run away from working five to six is it five to six eight to eight to five jobs yes you you don't want to you know you don't want to work 
You don't want to be an employed graphic designer. You don't want to work for brands. You want to be a boss on your own. You want to, you want to, you want to have that name like, um, like um, who is a big, bigger brand? Okay, like Chris, Chris, Chris Do. That is, an, that is an abroad guy, so I can't be comparing him over here. But in Nigeria, we have big brands like big graphic designers that I know that are doing well. I won't mention names here, guys, because I won't mention names, I, but I know them. But I won't tell you that these guys are just freelancing. There are people that have done freelance and, um, you know, that is working for them. But they, you, you don't just jump into doing freelancing without, you know, looking into some basic things which are very important in your life. Especially, guys, get a job. Yes, if you want to be a graphic designer, for you to start and don't rush into being a freelancer. Get a job. Work for brands. Go into companies and seek for job. Be their graphic designer. Let them pay you monthly salary while you still get your jobs outside. Make that as a side hustle. Once, when graphic design start paying you hugely, like people start noticing your work you know you can decide to quit but me i don't i don't i don't i don't fancy that i fancy money a lot because once a company is paying me and i'm still any more that is i'm having side hustles at least that is the aim money yes yeah, some people tell you i'm doing graphic design for passion passion bow sorry passion bow that's actually Yoruba in Nigeria. Passion for what? Your passion for being a graphic designer for what? Can you can you do graphic design for 10 years without earning and you keep doing it? Tell yourself the gospel truth. You won't. Alright, so the, the basic fact there is money. Alright, so why can't you do jobs? Why can't you do jobs like going to get a job in a company, be their graphic designer or a content creator and still be getting jobs outside? freelancing instead of staying alone i'm not telling you not to freelance don't quote me you can freelance and if it's paying you hugely you can do it you understand 100 percent you understand you can do it 100 percent but these are the truths that they don't tell you out there the, you guys see us and believe okay you guys see them and believe that um um all is well everybody's eating is rich everybody's big as a graphic designer we're all big you know Yes, graphic design is good. I'm not disputing that. You can earn big money. There are contracts you will learn here. Eh? Ah, my brother, you will just you will go to the village and buy land and start and start and start building blocks. There are co contracts you will learn. I've done a lot of jobs. Like I won't start counting. Yeah, I've sent invoices. Like invoices, what thousands, hundreds of thousands. So I'm even. I remember the day I sent an invoice of one point something million. <laughs> but the job actually clicked anyway but i was happy so you know it comes but it doesn't come all the time and there are websites you can go and do jobs like you know i'm not here to promote brands so you can pay for promotion and we'll do it guys there are websites you can actually you know go and uh, and and register and do freelancing do jobs you know but believe me it doesn't come all the time so bro sis sister in christ brother in christ get a job as an upcoming graphic designer try and get a job i'm not saying go and do leave graphic design and go and get another job what i'm saying is be doing design while you learn you understand you work work for a company you still learn from the company you still learn you know how to do designs how to do why you still get your jobs outside that is the basic fact and make more income for yourself you know make more income for yourself so you know that is just what i want to tell you guys i'm not here to motivate you i'm not here to tell you i'm here to tell you from experience guys there are times you will go broke as a graphic designer don't lie to yourself you will go broke when clients don't come for job the job doesn't come all the time is the truth all right 
So please take this advice serious. Just know what you want and stick to it. Alright? Know what you want and stick to it. You will hunger. Get a job. Earn salary while you get your clients and work as a freelancer. If you start earning it big as a freelancer, you can actually quit your job and focus on the freelancing work. There are work that will land you millions of contracts. You know? Or you never can tell. But before that one comes, you have to eat, you have to buy battery, you have to, you know, change your laptop. Not when laptop finish, spoil, you will start looking for money, borrowing from your friends. Ah, oh, brother, can you help me? My laptop is bad. Why you call yourself a graphic designer? You are not a graphic designer. You are a roadside graphic designer. You are be a professional. You know, make yourself a professional. Why even you are not? Yes, make yourself a professional. Why you are not? Because they say fake it until you you make it. Um, anyhow, that's true. Somehow, you know. But guys, that's actually what I want to pass to you guys. I still have more and more tips to share with you guys. So please subscribe all right i'm not only here to teach you how to design i'm also here to teach you how to make money as a graphic designer so i will somehow teach you guys how to get clients as a graphic designer so i had a collaboration with dennis so we made a video on how to increase your price as a graphic designer all right guys so that was actually date and uh, i have anything else to share with you guys i'll actually do it all right so see you guys in my next video